Welcome everybody to the Our Lady of Victory Church. We hardly call that here because we, we always say the Igloo Church. And um, my brother uh, David DeQuant asked me, why do I go here? I says, well, it's because it's round and, uh, and, and it's round so that the devil won't catch me in the corner. Thank you. Thank you, folks, for coming along. Um, now, please stand as we begin this evening with our first sing-along, and it's led by Mark Owen on keyboard. Please give him a big round of applause. He's just fantastic. Mark Owen on keyboards. And you, you sounded great. I heard every note, by the way. First up, we have grade three from East Three, singing Hinana Ho Ho and Do A Deer. Back here, I just moved this. Just oh, don't Thank you. 
That was just fantastic. All these years, I never knew that a doe was a female deer. Now I know. Here we go. Up next, we have the guides, brownies, and sparks singing 12 Days of Christmas and Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Give them a round of applause! Applause!
No, you sit with your group. The guys, brownies, and spice. Too cute. Give them another round of applause. Yay. The East Three Staff Choir is on deck. These three staff choir will be singing Christmas is all around us and all I want for Christmas is you. That's in case you don't have a program or in case you can't read. Okay? Here we go. Okay, it's change. It's uh, all I want for Christmas is you and up on the house step. Give it up for these three staff choir.
Such a great job, Ace Three, Staff Choir. How about another hand for them? That was great. I just want to thank uh, members of uh, East 3 for inviting Brian Turner and I. And Brian is with me tonight, and it's, 40 th it's our 43rd Christmas together. Give him a big hand. Where's Brian? He's around here somewhere. And it was so nice uh, of East 3 to invite us. Uh, to perform over there, and it was just such a, a lot of fun. Coming up next, this is a young lady that started taking lessons when she was five. And um, even when she moved up here, she was uh, by computer continuing her studies uh, from down south somewhere, I think Alberta, Edmonton. Please give a big hand to Micah McKenna. She will be performing, performing Allegro from Sonata in G major, Handel. That is just amazing. I'm gonna go and get some classical music and study too. That was just great. Uh, what um, 
what was happening when she moved up to Inuvik uh, was that um, Miss uh, Micah McEachern continued with her music lessons um, when she moved to Inuvik, uh, that was last year, using Skype. And uh, I'm not quite sure what that is. Some of you must know that. It's, it's, uh, I think it's about computer, using computers and that sort of thing, but I, I think they talk to each other a lot. Give her a big hand again, that was just amazing. Thank you. I think Mark Owen was playing keyboards there, I'm not sure. But he's definitely going to play for you right now as we join in the next sing-along. He's not on Skype. He's not on Skype. Okay, uh, you're all seated. Up next we have uh, the Quichin Choir to share a Christmas song in Quichin, assisted by our former language commissioner, Sarah Jerome. Please give her a big round of applause. Thank you. 
you will notice she is wearing embroidered mukluks. You don't see too many of those uh, around. Beautiful.
with choir. I'm, I don't see my French teacher, so I'm glad he's not here because I have to introduce the next guy. It's been a while since I, I, I took my grade 12 French. <laughs> Anyways, forgive me if I don't do it well. Applaud if I do it great, okay? Up next we have a lovely French song by a group called Les Franco, Elise, Dicari, Jean, and Friends, who will be singing Il n'est les devants enfants. Please come up. Now the Ukrainian songs are too hard to pronounce, so I'll translate it for you, okay? Um, first is God Eternal and in Bethlehem City of David. That's what those really difficult names in Ukrainian mean. How was, how was that? How was my translation? Not too bad? Hey! Give them a big hand, please.
Great stuff. Um, when I go to Edmonton, I always head to the uh, food section and order all kinds of Ukrainian food. And right now I'm feeling kind of hungry. Are you feeling hungry? <laughs> Anyways, we have our next sing along. Uh, I think it's called Away in the Manger. No, I can't do it. Away in the Manger. That's right. Okay. Give Mark Owen another big round of applause. Yay! Are you getting tired? Why don't we stand for a second and stretch? Stand and give yourselves a real good stretch. Okay? Okay, uh, act like uh, you're the Anukshuk outside. By the way, uh, my, it was my son's idea to uh, to build uh, the Inukshuk and next year I ain't going to do it. <laughs> it was a lot of work. First of all, the weather was too warm to make the ice. And, uh, and then it got really cold to do anything. <laughs> but he persisted. Give a big hand to Daryl Cotton Goose. Would you please stand there? There you go. And his friend David. Uh, and his friend Jacob. Jacob Garland, they've been friends for many years. Give him a big hand, Jacob. Thanks a lot for doing us proud here. Okay. We now invite Chris, Jonathan, and David, whose stage name tonight is the C Notes, to sing the Huron Carol. Give them a big round of applause.
with gifts of hawks and eager hands. Jesus, your King is born. Jesus is born. He excels his glory all. O children of the forest free, O sons of man, The C notes. I wonder if that means money or <laughs> singing in C. Anyways, up next we have a lovely Jenna Blanchard singing White Christmas. And uh, we have no problem having White Christmas in Inuit, but I think this uh, December, um, I watched the news once in a while and I think Hawaii got hit with some snow. So they're having a, they were having a white Christmas. But anyways, right now, put the hands together please for Jenna Blanchard.
Jenna Blanchard. Have yourself a merry little Christmas there, Jenna. And to all of you, this next artist, I always uh, joke around with him once in a while, but I call him probably the best musician in town, and indeed he is. He's a great performer, and uh, one day he'll take me serious. Abe Drennan. From the East Three School. And uh, I met uh, Abe uh, because he knew my daughter Leanne uh, before, and uh, uh, since that time it's been, it's been really nice knowing him. He's going to be portraying a, a touching song. It's about a short truce that stopped the killing on Christmas Day during World War I. It's called uh, Christmas Truce. And he will also be doing an original song, which I heard for the first time last week, also written by, by Abe. It's called The Light of the Season from East Three. Please give a big hand to Abe Brennan. So the more that I, I've, I've sang this song a few times at the concert here, and um, the more I play it, the more I discover a little bit more about its awesome message. And, um, and according to the lyrics, anyways, the um, the truce was brought on by <clears throat> by the uh, Christmas carols that were shared by the Germans and the British. <clears throat> so the power of song has a has a lot to uh, common ground. My name is Francis Tolliver. I come from Liverpool. Two years ago, the war was waiting for me after school. Belgium and to Flanders, to Germany to hear. I fought for king and country I love dear. It was Christmas in the trenches where the frost so bitter hung. The frozen fields of France were still no Christmas song was sung. Our families back in England were toasting us that day. The brave and glorious lads so far away. I was lying with my messmates on a cold and rocky ground. When across the lines of battle came a most peculiar sound. Says I now listen up, me boys, each soldier strain to hear As one young German voice sang out so clear He's singing, he's singing, bloody well, you know, my partner says to me Soon one by one each German voice joined in harmony the cannons rested silence, the gas clouds rolled no more. As Christmas brought us respite from the war. Soon 
soon as they were finished and a reverent pause was spent, God rest ye merry gentlemen, struck up the lads from Kent. Oh, the next they sang, the next they sang was steely not to silent nights as I. In two tongues, one song filled up that sky. There's someone coming towards us, the front line sentry cry. All sights were fixed on one lone figure trudging from their side. His truce flag like a Christmas star shone on the plain so bright as he bravely strolled unarmed into the night. Shared some secret brandy, and we wished each other well. In a flare lit soccer game, we gave them hell. We traded chocolate cigarettes and photographs from home. These sons and fathers, far away from families of their own. Young Sanders played the squeeze box, and they had a violin. This curious and unlikely band of men. Christmas time. 
Yes, uh, give it up once more for Abe Drennan, please. That was fantastic. <laughs> Heard a little bit about that story when I was growing up, and uh, I believe on that, that truce uh, songs. Uh, I think it was Silent Night. Was it? Was it Silent Night? Uh, was uh, being sung in in um, in English. And in German, that's from, from what I understood. I got to learn a little more about that history, but that was just fantastic. And also the uh, original composition, Christmas music. Abe Drennan from East Three. One more round, please.
this is a little awkward trying to introduce your, your own self, but I'll do the best I can. But uh, I'll, I'll uh, segue away from that just uh, for a second. Um, it's amazing, this time of year you get so busy and uh, all your intentions, not every one of them are meant and it almost didn't happen tonight. I was so busy worried about the Christmas concert and a few other things uh, that were happening during this time of the year. And uh, of course helping my son with the Inukshuk that I forgot that I asked my daughter Tyra to back me up on this song called Oh Holy Night and she called me at 10 minutes after 6 this evening and says, Dad, where are you? <laughs> and we were supposed to rehearse this afternoon and here I was rehearsing here and doing the Inukshuk and um, we've never played in public with this song but um, she makes me feel so confident that we could do it. Along with Brian Turner, would you please give a big round of applause to Tyra Cockney Goose. Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you, Ty. Please stand for our next sing-along. It's uh, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Our final segment for this evening begins with the Our Lady of Victory Church Choir, led by uh, Angel Dulay, uh, singing Who Has Known, and also Emmanuel. If you don't know Angel, Angel conducts uh, us every Sunday, and uh, we really are fortunate to have him. A big round of applause for Angel.
Victory Choir, but it could also be called the Filipino Choir Plus One. <laughs> Our second song is Imanuel. Imanuel.
Hey folks, how about it, eh? The uh, Filipino choir plus one. I want to say she's not the odd one because uh, I've been uh, playing music, singing alongside her for many years. Mickey O'Kane, give her a big round of applause. Next, the Lighthouse Community Church Choir singing, He Has Come For Us, and Christmas Offering, What I Hear, and Carol of the Bells. The Lighthouse Community Church has been a faithful participant in this concert for many years, and that is so greatly appreciated. A great group of people. Thank you. Give them a big round of applause. There's going to be different parts of us singing, so just bear with us here. And we're going to be starting with uh, the Christmas offering song.
God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. great music coming out of the Lighthouse Church. Give them a big round of applause. There's even a drummer. Did you know that? It comes from the Lighthouse Church. Hey David, stand up. Give a big round. Say hi. Merry Christmas to everybody. Yes. As we mentioned earlier, we always count on them to come and, and they do put on a fantastic show that's just great. Next we have the Inuvik Community Choir, led by Anne Coco, singing What Child Is This? An African Noel. I just want to say at this time that uh, following this, uh, this segment here, we are going to do a song that's not in your program, but uh, 
We had a, uh, had a couple of calls this afternoon and uh, they wanted to do a song called Silent Night. How about that? Are you ready for Silent Night later? Okay, what we are going to do though, we're going to do something different. We're going to invite all of the choirs up here in the Valopton, Gwich Inn. So I'm giving you a lot of notice. Some of you take at least two minutes and 32 seconds to get up here. So I'm giving you lots of warning. Um, if we have the Francophone community, we could come here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a, a verse each. And we're going to end it off with someone special from the long-term care. And her name is Annie. She's here somewhere. Last year she surprised us and she just belted it out and she, she didn't even need a microphone. How about that? Okay. The New Community Choir. Give them a hand. What child is this? An African Noel.
the Inuit Choir. Give him a big hand. And of course, uh, conducted by Anna Krakow. Okay, at this time, while we still have some time, I gave you two minutes and 40 seconds head start. All of you who would like to sing Silent Light in your respective languages, please come up on stage. If not, we will assume that you have a strong voice and therefore you can stay where you are. Okay, I'd like the Nivaluk singers to come up, please, just so that uh, it's, it's hard to, uh, to mic this from where you might be singing. We got Shirley, and uh, who else do we have? We have, uh, we have uh, Susan Pfeffer. And uh, I mentioned we're going to be featuring Annie from the Long Term Care as the final soloist tonight. Okay, while we're waiting for them to show up, um, before our final sing-along songs, a few important thank yous for those who have volunteered their time, equipment, and energy to make this wonderful evening a possibility. And just hold your applause, please, until I'm, I've, I finish the list. First, a huge thanks to Howie McLeod, who has donated his time and equipment to make everyone sound so good tonight. Thank you, Howard. Give him a hand. But I want exception. And Jacob, his son, also helped today. To Christine Zuko, and I remember this. One of the original concert organizers, participants, and and I want to thank them, uh, the New North Network, which she is very well connected to, <laughs> and uh, for doing all the uh, TV ads for free uh, on, on the Rolling Channel. To the CBC for free announcements, to the Inuvik Drum for free ads and coverage, to David Stewart for filming the event, to Mark Owen, for accompanying the sing-along and to Don Craig for lending his keyboard and I will have to give Mark a separate thank you now. Give it up for Mark. You did such a great job this evening. To Mo Stationer for donating the paper, to all performers, choir leaders and organizers and to everyone who brought food for the food bank. And to all of you for coming tonight, a round of applause. Okay, this is going to be interesting, okay, because we, uh, we talked about it uh, a few nights ago and I wasn't sure whether it was going to happen, but we're going to start off with Silent Night. And Mark will give a, a, a key, I think it's G, is it? What are you doing? B, B flat. Give me a B and I'll flatten it myself. <laughs> I just want to make an announcement. Um, this coming Wednesday, we'll be performing at the Long Term Care. And I think this is going to be my 35th year playing music for the people who cannot show up, who cannot show up to these events. We're bringing our music there. And uh, I want you to, uh, to distinguish the person who is organizing it this year. Give a big hand to Susan. Please stand up, Susan. We also would like to thank uh, the Billy Moore Home staff and the Charlotte V. Hoos staff for bringing the participants, the residents here to this event. Charlotte Vihus. Does that mean Stacy is here? Stacy's here? Must be. Billy Moore must be here? No. Okay. All right. Please give it up for Silent Night.
Okay, do we have any other languages with the Francophone singers like to sing it in French? En Francais, if you don't understand what I'm saying. Oh, we got something in Ukrainian. Again, I'm getting hungry. Okay. Okay, right now we have uh, our uh, headliner. Give a big hand to Annie. From the long term care. Okay, since you're here, let's do it in, uh, in the language we know best, Silent Night. Everyone stand, please. Give yourselves a big hand, that was wonderful. The final performance tonight, before the last uh, sing-alongs, is a medley of Mary's Boy Child and by uh, a song called The Rivers of Babylon, which is actually Psalm 137. This features uh, Brian Turner on bass, Myself on guitar, and uh, 
Our lead singer tonight is Mickey O'Kane. Give her a big round of applause. We board uh, two members of the Ukrainian choir to do some backup. And have you noticed when you came here, you got some handouts for, for this song? The first one is called uh, Mary's Child? Mary's Boy Child. Mary's Boy Child. We're going to get our guitars. We had, uh, I think, a couple of weeks of fun putting this together because uh, there was all kinds of all kinds of activities, different people rehearsing somewhere else, and it was really difficult to get together. So we decided we're going to do it here at church. Uh, uh, on, on noon days, and one day we got Brian to, to come in, and it's it finally we got it together. Please give the group a big round of applause. The drummer's name is Ringo. Okay, and uh, please help him uh, with, uh, with, uh, with the parts in red. That's all the parts in red that you have there, okay?
you. We have our very final sing-along, folks. First Noel. Wow. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's joy to the world. What a fitting closing tune. Thank you for coming. We'll see you next year.